नमस्ते दोस्तों गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दी टी डिपार्टमेंट टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट केस प्रेजेंटेशन इन प्रैक्टिकल एग्जामिनेशन इन ईएन टी यूजली इन सिलेबस इज डिफरेंट फॉर डिफरेंट यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड यूजली देर बी वन लॉन्ग केस एंड टू शॉर्ट केसेस विल बी देर एंड यू हैव टू प्रेजेंट यूर सेल्फ ऑल्सो इन ए डिसेंट मैनर विद गुड क्लीन क्लोथ क्लीनली शेवन हेस वेल मेड एंड यू हैव टू कैरी the hall ticket with the pen and pencils light source stethoscope and usually with the watch with wrist watch with second hand these are all the things are necessary and you have to be your speech has to be very good you have to be very very confident your speech has to be very clear and loud so that the examination can hear very well your every word has to be clearly spoken and most important another thing is that during presentation please do not use any abbreviation sir or shortcut just like csom instead of telling csom please tell chronic suppurative otitis media yes young yap sub mucus fibrosis do not tell that it is yes yum yeah these are the abbreviation should not be used and be confident and tell loudly clearly all the best best of luck i have given you the how to take the this is the proforma i have already given after the next slide please see that today we have been allotted a case of bed number 2 ward number 17 of civil hospital for my examination now i am presenting the case for ent examination practical patient by name x age 18 years resident of mumbai with the patient is a student and chief complaints of the patient the main chief complaints of the patients is discharge from the right ear and hard of hearing history of present illness the patient has got history of similar discharge from the ear since last 10 years on and off history of present illness and whenever patient get discharge that time patient's hearing decreases now coming to the personal history patient is fully conscious and well oriented of time and place and cooperative and bowel and bladder habits are normal patient has got good appetite and good sleep these are the, and patient is non smoker and non alcoholic now coming to the family history nobody suffers from this type of ear discharge or any other congenital anomaly now coming to the general examination patients pulse is 76 per minute blood pressure is 120 by 80 mm of mercury respiratory rate is 16 per minute weight is 65 kg now after chest auscultation is normal per abdomen soft no hepatosplenomegaly and other nervosis cns cbs everything is normal now coming to the local examination local examination of the nose nose in an anterior rhinoscopy there is a mild deviation of nasal septum 
to the left side C shaped deviation with hypertrophied inferior terminate on the right side. There is no tenderness of the sinuses and coming to the oral cavity, lips, gums, tongue, cheek, posterior wall of pharynx, hard and soft palate, everything is normal. And coming to the ear examination, there is a foul smelling mucopurulent discharge present in the external canal, pinna is normal and there is a subtotal perforation of the right tympanic membrane. On Rene's test, on uh, tuning fork test, the Weber's is lateralization to the right ear. Now, with all these findings, it has been probable diagnosis of chronic suppurative otitis media right side. We need to investigation of the case of chronic suppurative otitis media. Initially, we have to control the infection discharge from the ear and that is the antibiotics, anti-inflammatory for the swelling of the pain in the ear middle ear, middle ear mucosa and antiseptic ear drops and antihistaminics for the control of rhinorrhea. These are the things. After controlling the infection and discharge will become decreased, then investigations. Investigations will be usually that is related to the ear, ear and hearing. That is pure tone audiogram mastoid x-rays, high resolution CT scan of temporal bone and with these investigations we will come to know about the mastoid infection, bony disease, ossicular chain and, and auditory nerve. With this we will come to some final diagnosis because this is a simple case there then uh, treatment options. Initially the medical management to control the otoria and uh, infect to control the infection and uh, to know the antibiotic uh, sensitivity, culture and sensitivity of the ear discharge. This is also is a one of the most important investigation. After these investigations, we have to go for probable uh, diagnosis is done already. Now, after the investigations, final diagnosis of chronic separate otitis media and treatment options will be the final. This thing will be surgical management. Surgical management will be simple tympanoplasty, depending on the findings of the high resolution CT scan of the temporal bone. And after the important, this is the most uh, this thing is advisable treatment option permanent treatment is tympanoplasty because ossicles, if the ossicles are normal then it is a type 1 tympanoplasty or including will be ossiculoplasty because this is a tubotympanic variety of CSOM hence chronic separatotitis media hence simple tympanoplasty type 1 tympanoplasty will be helpful and these are the options.